Is daylight saving really about to end? The EU is planning to stop the clock changes across Europe so that the last daylight saving switch could be October 2019. Member states will have to choose whether to stay in permanent summertime or switch to eternal wintertime. And even though we're leaving the EU, Britain will be affected. So what's best for us? But before we get to that, why do we even have daylight saving in the first place? Well, it's got nothing to do with farmers. That is an urban myth. Britain adopted it during World War I to try and save fuel and then across wider Europe in the 1970s to conserve energy during an oil crisis. But now LED light bulbs make those original savings pretty much irrelevant. So could the end of daylight saving be a good thing for you? That probably depends on where you live. The UK had originally looked to change daylight saving time in 2011 to give more light in the evenings. That said to benefit mental health. And leading charities say lighter evenings would also prevent road accidents in the dark. However, the Scottish government argued it would leave too many places in the north in darkness until 10 a.m. But this time it looks like daylight saving is about to end. And despite Brexit, we'll still have to choose one time zone, GMT or BST, to stick in until the end of 2020, which is when the Brexit transition period ends. The change could mean Northern Ireland and the Republic Ireland have different time zones. That's why some are predicting chaos across Europe, including major disruption to trading hours in the single market. So what could European time zones look like next year? The early indications have shown citizens of Portugal, Cyprus and Poland are leaning towards summertime all year round, whilst residents in Finland, Denmark and Netherlands want permanent wintertime. Overall, it appears there's popular support for daylight saving to end. A survey of around 4.5 million EU residents found an overwhelming 84% wanted to scrap the yearly time changes. Though it is worth mentioning, 70% of those respondents all came from Germany, and only two countries, Greece and Cyprus, wanted to keep daylight saving. So, a timely question, will it really happen? Before it becomes law, the European Commission proposals have to be backed by the Parliament and Council. Then countries will choose their time zone by April 2019. But what do you think about the seasonal time changes? 